Hello my darlings and welcome back to yet another vlog. It's Monday morning, the start of a new week. My son's nursery closed last minute so I'm home with him and baby today. He requested that I make some French toast sticks for breakfast so here goes. It's not often that I get to make them breakfast in the morning as usually my husband is on breakfast duty for the boys. So in a blender I combined all of my French toast sticks ingredients which was just some eggs, milk, some cinnamon powder and I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut these hot dog rolls into sticks you guys have seen me make this before i'm just gonna cut this into sticks dip it into the batter and fry it in a little bit of butter for about two to three minutes and yeah this is literally breakfast for the kids this morning Once breakfast for the boys was sorted, I wanted to go in with my daily cup of Moringa tea and it's literally really easy to make as you guys can see. I like to take mine with just, you know, a spoon of sugar and some hot water and literally just let it steep for about 5 minutes so it's nice and, you know, delicious. I'm also having this warm cinnamon roll. My husband got some from Tesco this morning and he knows it's my favorite so... This is baby's breakfast. He's having his French toast sticks with some chopped up blueberries. It's his favorite breakfast in the whole wide world. And I'm using this bamboo ball. This is not sponsored. I really like it. It's in an elephant shape. Baby loves it. And as you can see, he's already tucking into that gorgeous French toast stick. Whew, this boy is living life. Once he was done, I gave him his water. As you can see, his tummy is nice and full. I cleaned his tray and I just left him in his high chair for a little bit while I just work on some business emails. And for lunch, I actually made a tuna pasta salad for the boys. I didn't really know what to make, to be honest with you. And I'm working on a new ebook, so I'm literally just so slumped with work and yeah just a little heads up there will be a new ebook coming out very soon and i'm so excited so yes i'm using my pasta i'm gonna boil it for about 10 minutes or so according to package instructions you can use whatever pasta you have and then i'm just gonna go ahead and just try this sweet tamarind just a little snack you know a little something to keep me going first time trying it um i think it was all right it was pretty sweet usually when we have tamarind in the caribbean it's so sour and your mouth starts watering straight away but this one was pretty okay i think you should try it, it said it was from thailand so yeah really nice actually really nice snack So 
So once I was done having my little tamarind snack and working on the dressing for the tuna pasta salad and you're gonna need some mayo, some lime or lemon, some good virgin olive oil, using this vegan mayo today and I'm also gonna go in with some sweet corn and some tuna and yeah you can also add a little bit of honey into the, the sauce but to be honest I'm not giving baby any honey yet because he's not a year yet so I'm really mindful about adding honey in anything that he's gonna have from. So yes darlings add a little bit of everything. If you aren't sure you can always just ask me and I'll let you know what amounts of whatever I used in the comments but yeah just go ahead and add all of the ingredients that I mentioned into a bowl and then you want to whisk it up. I'm also gonna season it with a little bit of garlic powder and a little pasta seasoning and yeah this is literally our sauce already. Once I drained off my tuna, my pasta was also ready. I let it cool for about 5 minutes and it wasn't fully cold but I didn't mind to be honest. So I'm going in with some of the tuna and I'm also adding in some sweet corn. To be honest with you, you can add whatever veg in this you, as you want. You know, my boys really like sweet corn so I tend to just make the things that I know they will eat. Also just add in some chopped red peppers and lettuce and all that stuff for some extra crunch. But especially when you're making food for toddlers, oh my goodness, it can be really tricky. So I tend to just add things that I know they will definitely eat in there. And yes, darlings, I try to keep it simple. However, if this was for me, you know I'd go in with some red peppers and just some extra little stuff for some crunch. But yeah, I kept it nice and simple and it was just so yummy. Like, wow, it was so, so good. Once I went ahead and filled up my tummy with this yummy tuna pasta salad that was just so gorgeous. I had driving lessons in the evening and this is how I wrapped up my day. Guys, it was just a really full on day and I can't wait to see you in my next one. See you in tomorrow's vlog. Bye!